Hey guys, another control rig video. And in this case, we are building out a object that moves up based on your position and starts to animate. So let's see how we can create this. We create a blueprint with the skeletal mesh and with the control rig. And what we have to do at the moment is we have to highlight our control rig here and then we go to the blueprint and we click on this arrow so it feeds it here. The find elements, in this case only the root bones and we create here, we create our input control and select this direction to input. Another thing we have to do is component name is important on our outputs is skeletal mesh helper which is the name of the skeletal mesh here. Okay, inside of control rig we are doing stuff. Right click, new, a new control and we're doing something here. In this case, whenever the control is above 50 on the Z axis, we set a new state. At the moment, whenever you set a new variable, you cannot select a new one. So you have to drag out and say promote the variable and then you have the option to, to set it to float. We set our state interpolate. It's always, the A is always the same as the, the one that you want to set and B is our new value. And now we have this, we go into our offset transform. We offset our root bone based on the state. So this will go from minus one to one, to my, yeah, back to minus one, back to one. So we do multiply by 45. So it goes from minus 45 to 45 and back. And we interpolate the rotation and we feed in the, the uh, rotation value on the z-axis here in the rotation. In the on state, we said we say okay plus 200. So we set this to 200, and we do a uh, animation that goes up and down. So we add it by this, and we multiply it by the state interpolation. So when it's off, it's multiplying by zero, and when it's on, it's multiplying by one, which is doing basically this whole thing here. And we feed it into the z-axis here. We place everything in the level and we have our example here. We go to the control rig and what we have to do here is in reference actor on the input, we have to set our active example here, which in this case is this cube here. And this is our basic code here. We have the mutator zone and we have the activation prop and we have our initial position. So we, what we're doing, we're subscribing to enter and exit events and we set our initial position here. Player goes into this mutator zone we say go to the new position, which is the initial position plus 50 on the Z axis here. And then we teleport to that location. And when he, the player goes out of the zone, we go back to our initial position here. Here we have everything we've done. And when we move up close, we will start doing his animation. When we go back and go back down. You'll see the cube also move up and down.